Hi everybody, uh, welcome to uh, the seventh edition Ooh. Yeah, of the Lockdown Book Show. Um, I'm Ben, it's Beth, I'm with the Bookshop Band and uh, welcome everybody who's here already. Marion Williams, Leslie Williams, um, Sue Taylor, hi guys. Everybody. We should, we've been told we need to speak into the mics yes, a bit more. Yes, we have, so yeah. <laughs> we will try to do that tonight so that you can hear us really well. Um, so tonight um, we've well, first of all, we should introduce all the other bookshops who are joining us tonight, because mm-hmm. um, there's a whole ton of them all around the world, which is always quite staggering. Uh, Beth, what have we got? We have, as always, uh, Mr B's Emporium of Reading Delights. We've got Daunt Books, Q Bookshop, Sheen Bookshop, The Bookshop in Wigtown, Wigtown Book Festival, The Open Book, Books in My Bag, Booksellers Association, The Blue House Bookshop, Books on the Hill. Uh, we've also got Atkinson Price in Bigger, Bookends in Carlisle, uh, The Rydale Book Festival, Barthold Books, St Ives Bookseller, and also on Jackie Morris's um, live stream as well on her Facebook page. And then across the water. We have, in America, mm-hmm. across that water, we have, <laughs> <laughs> we have a Word Bookshop in Brooklyn and um, in New Jersey, a Tattered Cover um, in uh, Denver, Bookmark in Canada, and then we've also, and also in America we've got Collected Works, Title Wave Books, Maria's Bookshop, Sandpiper Books, Second Star to the Right, Book, book Works in Albuquerque, Bay Books, and, and then finally we've got Schlanagig in Ireland and um, the English Bookshop in Uppsala and Stockholm. So hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're very much still in lockdown in Scotland in the book town up here. Um, but it's, yeah, it's been quite windy actually today, but otherwise pretty nice. Apparently it's been windy in Bath as well. Has it? It's mm-hmm. been windy all over. Not yeah. just because of what I ate. Uh, right, so this um, this week we thought we'd theme it around the theme of hard times. Yeah, I think we've tried to stay relatively relatively upbeat. If you know songwriters <laughs> do upbeat, probably not very much. But um, last week we did a, a, a lovely nature set of lovely nature books, and this week we thought we'd bring it right down to hard times. Um, but hopefully, we'll be recommending some great books. And um, last. About this time last year, am I right in saying this? This time last year, we were asked to play at Deeping's um, Book Festival, Literature Festival, in... Is that... That's not Lincolnshire, is it? Is it slightly further south? Sort of there. It's almost... uh, I'm not quite... I don't want to say without... um, Because I'll probably get it wrong. Anyway, we were asked to um, do an event with this guy called Gerard Dickens. Mm Mm-hmm. And he, it turns out, he is the great, 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 grand. Great. How many were there? <laughs> no, it was only a few. It, was, it wasn't as many as yeah. you think it would be. So anyway, a great grandson of Charles Dickens. And um, I think he just used to be a taxi driver or had a, a very normal job. And then somebody suggested that he should maybe do something related to his um, great, 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 great grandfather. And... It turned out he was actually quite good at acting and doing kind of monologues of um, Dickens' works. So, and we Mm. thought, oh, this sounds a bit dubious. But we did this event with him and he he was amazing, wasn't he? Yeah, he he was. He was so great. And the nice thing was is that that's how, that's what Charles Dickens did. He used to go around as these one-man shows delivering these theatrical one-man shows of his books. And so he was kind of emulating that but yeah it and it, it was a real insight into into that world um mm. and we thought i don't know if we were given a choice but I th- again we went what we quite often do for a commission to do a song <laughs> now is walk around the bookshops of wigtown when we're able and we see what books they've got and then we pick the shortest one of the books <laughs> they've got related <laughs> especially at the moment we don't yeah. have we, we don't get that much time to read um lockdown or not with with the work and and um child child but anyway it happened to be um hard times so we're gonna start with that one and i hadn't read it before so it was um it was a, it was i really enjoyed i actually really enjoyed it i hope that you might too if you read it and 
I don't know if it's one of Dickens' greater works or not, possibly not, but um, I, I quite got drawn into this world of the circus in contrast to um, this kind of industrial coke town and run by this guy who was harsh on his children and wanted them to grow up like him and to, to follow all these rules and everything was based on facts and um, you know I, I think as artists and songwriters our lives c can't really be like that <laughs> so um, so we c came up with a song called The Tumbling Girl The Tumbling Girl I guess is the um, the kind of girl that comes out of the circus um, I, can't, I can't quite remember the, the story because it was, it was a year ago, I mean. And um, she, yeah, the song is actually from a few different characters' point of view. And um, yeah, I think we'll just sing. I'm just going to tune up. I'm going to use, uh, this is the Lockdown Book Show, show debut for this uh, electric guitar. Um, I like to say it's our Dylan moment, but we're not as famous as Dylan, so I doubt anyone cares. Well, uh, I, yeah, I... Perhaps the uh, the harder times songs bring out the slightly <laughs> grungy, apocalyptic um, sounding things. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the tumbling girl. We live in hard times. We die in harder times. Working for the man, the hard fact kind of man. Mm -hmm.
That's, that's the third time we've played that song, I think. Possibly. Yes, it hasn't, hasn't made many outings. <laughs> can everybody hear us okay? Uh, we've got no idea, uh, but hopefully you can. If you want us to talk louder into the mics when we're talking, give us a shout, and there's probably not much we can do about it except go in further. Okay, right. Crikey. Um, so the next song we're going to do is a song inspired by our second lockdown reading recommendation of the night, which is No Great Mischief by Alexander, uh, Alistair MacLeod. Sorry. We actually met his son Alexander in, in um, Canada when we went there late last year. Um, but it's an absolutely beautiful novel about um, kind of a, a family, a family who recently, well, kind of come emigrated over to Canada in the late 1700s um, and this is a couple of generations further down the line and kind of how that family has grown and obviously lots of hardships and Canada was quite a quite a tough a tough place um, when in those those kind of times um, and I kind of I won't say too much about the book but um, when I read it I, I I couldn't believe it, it was a work of fiction because it was so it's so just so poetic and I couldn't um so poetic but so so real um and so landed in life and um it is indeed a work of fiction but it it, it reads like something quite almost too vivid um it's it's really wonderful um so we've written a song inspired by that and we wrote it out in Canada when we went there um we started off in uh, Nova Scotia and then went drove off to Prince Edward Island um, and had a rather rather wonderful time out there with bookmark uh, books who are streaming this as well so um, this is if I can remember which guitar I'm playing it on <laughs> I have slightly uh, slightly marred um, feeling about the tour only because I had the flu <laughs> when we were there and I, I got really ill. Not, not this kind of flu, but um, basically on the flight on the way back, I just had to had to <laughs> sit like a, I don't know, just a cosy little pod. <laughs> hi, hi, Owen Dixon in Ireland, and Joe Charlton, Janet Olmoyle in Sheffield. Hi, Mum as well. Adrian Turpin from the Wigtown Book Festival. Hi, guys. Okay, so this one uh, is called Red and Black, uh, which is not the same as an old bookshop band song called uh, Gold and Black. Um, and uh, yeah, it's because we can't play that because Poppy, Poppy sung that one. So we've written a new one called Red and Black. Uh, <laughs>
spin round on ground Reach out your hand and try to stand Don't want to land under a hammer Under a shadow Blood is Thank you. So it's nice to play that one again. Um, and so dedicate that one to Bookmark um, and everyone out there. Um, there's a video we shot uh, of uh, like a little live video of that song in the Bookmark Bookmark bookshop on Prince Edward Island. I think we did that one in. Um, yeah. So you can see the bookshop there if you... Uh, in Charlottetown. In Charlottetown, that's right. Yeah. And we had such, such, such wonderful hosts with uh, Dan and Marlene who run the bookshop. Um, and Marlene particularly did a lot of looking after Molly as well, so um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, Mary Wallace. Oh, Car hi, Mary. She does. She runs our post office, and she does an amazing job of doing that. Yeah, she does. Uh, Judith Hooper as well in Oxford. Oh, hello, Judith and Nick and Rose. Uh, Gemma Langworthy at the edge of Dartmoor. Lovely to see you all virtually. Um, so we do as ever have a tip jar. Um, and uh, we're sending 20% of that to help musicians and 20% to uh, the book trade charity. Um, uh, so do drop something in there if you feel so obliged and are able. Um, and uh, we also have our, we've got 10 left of our American tea towels. My word, I can't believe there's 10 left, but there are. <laughs> <laughs> Very useful. Um, so I the next book that we're going to recommend in our hard times, um, but this could be put into many other themed evenings as well, I'm sure, and themed literature, um, uh, kind of, yeah, you know what I mean. And um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, I think we've already done, we've already done a, we did Emma Hooper's other book, um, her first book, which is called Etta and Otto and Russell and James. And this was the second book that came out um, a couple of years ago called Our Homesick Songs. And it's a book that I got, I got to the end of it and I really wished that it hadn't finished and wanted to keep reading and stay in the story. And it's set in Newfoundland. And basically the, the fish in the sea, it's a fishing village in um, Newfoundland and the fish start to disappear and so the boats um less and less boats can go out to fish and the the kind of fishing industry the cod industry has gone uh, right down and so the village is dwindling and becoming uh, kind of panicking about what its future holds um and there are some beautiful characters in the book um and it runs through a couple of generations of characters but what the song that we're going to sing is um kind of inspired it's called a knot and there's um a woman called martha who is really good at making fishing nets because she's really good at the knots to make the fishing nets and um she kind of she does this in secret but she also does it when she's just to keep her hands busy i suppose and it's another one we haven't played very much so i also haven't talked about it very much <laughs> so i'll probably just you know um but it's a lovely it's a, a beautiful book. It's got a lot of musical reference it, references in it. Um, 
as you may know, Emma Hooper is a um, a wonderful musician as well, and we play in a string quartet together, and she's played on a lot of our albums as well. And um, so I think all of her books are quite musical, lyrical and musical. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just sing the song. I'm just going to um, tune up quickly. Okie dokie. I think this, this evening I've seemed to have chosen songs that are quite low for my voice, so we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> So with our string quartet, we've we've decided that we're trying we've, we're trying to write some stuff remotely. So we we've got a system. It's four of us, obviously, and each of us writes um, a little line or a, a bit of music, and then we record it and pass it on to the next person alphabetically in the group. So I've actually just passed mine on. I will pass mine on to Emma. Um, no, I did pass mine on to Emma. We're on the second round now, so I'm passing another one on. Um, but we thought if we can't be together, we can still write some music together. Um, so, I'm just going to have a sip of water. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I start, don't I?
It's a wonderful book, Our Homesick Songs by Emma Hooper. Um, highly recommend it. And I th believe she's got another one on its way as well, which I'm very excited about. So what's been happening this week, Beth, in our house? The in toes have been slowly getting better. Yeah, yeah, the toes are... They're not right. They're not quite right. I, I keep walking around too much. <laughs> Um, but I got recommended to get some Birkenstocks. So I've got my first pair of Birkenstocks ever on my feet right now. And they're actually very comfortable and they stop me from bending my toes in the wrong way. So That's pretty good. And Molly um, has done very, very well. You'll all be absolutely delighted to know in her potty training. She has, and it's been Molly's birthday. She turned, oh yeah, more importantly. <laughs> she, <laughs> she turned three on Wednesday and... Um, she she did a wee in the potty for all to see on a Zoom chat for her <laughs> birthday. So she's done, done really well. Um, yeah, what else have we been doing? We're doing bits of work. Um, oh, we oh. had our, the, the cathedral thing. Yeah, we did. Um, so we were meant to be playing, I think, early next week at um, St. David's Cathedral Festival. Um, with Jackie Morris, um, we were going to do a concert there and obviously along with every other concert for the foreseeable, it's all been cancelled. Um, uh, but instead, um, the festival asked us to put together a little video um, and so we did that with Jackie with a song from uh, The House Without Windows, um, a song from our new project with Jackie, um, The Unwinding, is her, her new book um, and we're doing like an, an album to go with that um, and also Beth did um, and I accompanied a version of Goldfinch by the Lost Word Spell Songs as obviously Jackie is very involved in all of that um, so that's that's just been released and there's a link to it a bit further down on our um, Facebook page um, so it's about yeah it's very nice and you can see uh, Beth walking around um, Wicktown Harbour the Martyr State Walk um, which is with Molly which is rather lovely um, which was where where you wrote the, or what inspired part of the inspiration for the goldfinch. Yeah, yeah, Charming exactly. Goldfinch. And Molly's dressed as a bee with a unicorn <laughs> backpack on. <laughs> we didn't have a goldfinch costume. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, no, well, I, you know, Jackie, we have talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have a goldfinch bird with us. We did, yes. which Molly thought was a... A toy one. toy one. Well, she thought it was something else, a robin. She, thought, she said it was a robin. Yeah. But yeah. She, know, she knows really it's a goldfinch. Yeah. She's just playing, she's just playing us. Yeah. So our next uh, lockdown read recommendation is The Dust That Falls From Dreams by Louis de Bernier. Um, and this is, it's, a, it's the first of a, a series of books, I think the second one is out already, um, that follows the family lives and trials um, of, of this, this group of fam family and friends. Um, and uh, this one is set um, in just before and into the First World War. Um, so we thought it was quite an appropriate one for the hard times themed set. Um, and um, it, it follows this song, the song we've written um, is inspired by uh, one of the love stories within the book. Um, and it's, it's this, this guy who, who becomes a fighter pilot um, in the First World War and um, so this song kind of tries to sneakily tell uh, his sort of love story um, through the language and imagery of an, a dogfight in the air. Um, uh, I don't know if that was a good thing to do but that's what we did and we actually recorded the song at Louis's house um, some, some time ago now. Um, so this is one we've recorded already. Actually, a lot of the ones we haven't recorded yet, so they might be on future albums. Anyway, um, what's this one called? Can't remember. Further. On, yes. Further on, on this, this journey. journey. That's what it's called. <laughs> Then we 
know that we did you say that we recorded an album no. with Louis de Bernier that you can buy you can I think I mean it's never really been properly released okay um, but I think uh, he's just about to release his next one because I've designed it for him um, so I reckon probably if you got in touch with us and you wanted an album of Louis de Bernier's songs produced well and played on by the bookshop band we can probably talk about it yeah we've definitely got a load downstairs in a box um yeah um yeah and he's 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 an extremely prolific songwriter he he, i guess he started off as a as a songwriter and a poet and he became well known as a as an author and increasingly more now as a poet and i guess he's sort of reverting back to his his uh his 20s early 20s when he wrote a whole ton of uh, songs and um so we did one with him he's just released or he's just been working on a, a a triple a triple album um and then he's already recorded his next one after that so he's yeah he's um flying i bet you that's what he's doing in lockdown <laughs> yeah. um well it's been um it's it, it definitely makes us know what day of the week it is doing this um and so i hope hope this is uh 
bringing you guys some uh, hope well if nothing i hope you know what day of the week it is um from this but thank you so much for all your comments we we sit down and uh with a glass or something and read them uh, as soon as we finished and it's um i think it's probably the highlight of our week isn't it yeah, yeah it's it's really lovely it's a really lovely thing to do and it's lovely that we can we get to play together i'm sure i've said this before but a lot of people a lot of musicians are at home with no one to play with so this is something that we're very lucky to be able to do mm, absolutely um we thought we'd finish off with the last one uh it's not a book per se but it's it's a story for you to go and look out um and it's um it's a japanese folk story called the stone cutter and it's a really it's a beautiful little tale about a stone cutter who's chipping away at the wall um you know collecting gravel for his living it's a hard time isn't it um he's poor and um then um someone uh, uh, the being the spirit of the rock comes out and and asks the man to um he can have a wish and so he wishes to be rich and then he's very rich he's having a great time and he gets really annoyed about the sun it's blinding him and so he thinks well it's probably better to be the sun i'll be the sun instead that would be better so he's the sun and he's very very happy um and he shines and everything and then this cloud gets in the way and starts blocking his sunlight so he thinks well maybe the maybe it's even better to be be the clouds they obviously beat the sun it's like some giant game of paper scissors stones and so he becomes the clouds and he gets in the way of the sunlight and he rains on the earth and causes great floods and then he looks down and after a particularly enormous flood that he's created he sees this enormous rock and he thinks oh, i've been defeated this final time i know the most eternal the best thing i can be is a rock so he becomes a rock and he's he's absolutely so happy right now and he's just sitting there you know reflecting the sun and surviving the storms and then this old man this old stone cutter comes along and starts chipping away at the side and he thinks maybe i should have just been who i was and so this is a um a song we wrote inspired by that story pretty much saying the same thing in more words and um we haven't really played it for a long time um but it's called the stone cutter so thank you so much for being here um thank you to all our bookshops and all the book festivals and everybody who's who's been um uh cross posting this and uh no doubt we'll see you next week um let me just check my tuning okay oh it's got a solo at the start that okay here we go Shame that I will live modestly, a poor stone cutter eternally. I grant you. After one year, how 
Thank what? you. Um, I did have a slight thought, Ben, is that what? I could go and look for the ukulele in Molly's bedroom. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, then. While okay. you talk about... Something. Something. Um, is there a glass if, of that's, water? That's if you... I could also get some water while you talk. He talks <laughs> ages for ages about this one. Um, we were gonna that's play... if you want another one, if yeah, you want an encore. We were going to play Once Upon a Time, um, but we realised we didn't have the ukulele and we weren't ready for when we had to click go. Uh, so we didn't, but we could get it now. We're all I, I also hadn't done my buttons up, and they weren't quite done up for all the <laughs> games. So I keep having to do them up. No, so um, uh, so you talk about stuff, and I'll go oh, for I have some water. water. <clears throat> um, oh, I one there. Um, it's always a bit of a risk with these sessions whether um, whether Molly wakes up, but so far, touch wood, she hasn't. Um, it's been amazing. We can get getting her to bed early. Yeah, newbie parents, we've got no idea, really, even after three years. Um, so let's see who else is here. Uh, Hiker, Hiker and Hugh, hi there. You might remember that because you were probably at that event. Um, Lindy Platt, hello. Hi, Mum. Joe Charlton, uh, Julie Nicholas, David Francis. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, from the Aaron Alexander Bookshop. Nice. Um, uh, hi, Marie. Uh, lots of it's really nice to see all these uh, familiar faces as well. Um, yeah, it's really lovely. Happy birthday, Molly! Thank you. Yeah, she's had lots of presents. She's had uh, uh, a Buzz Lightyear was a big one. Um, the balloons were a mistake. She was terrified of um, the balloons we got all day, and so every she was just looking around the door, and um, every time she saw a balloon, she'd sort of cower in. Um, but we kind of fixed that. So. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to do one more because it's been quite a serious set. Uh, we thought we'd do a slightly more upbeat song. And also, uh, it doesn't matter if we haven't practiced it because we've kind of got through all the difficult ones now. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, not sure. Do we need words? Yeah, we fine. <laughs> do we need words? Definitely. So if anyone wants to buy any of the books that we've been talking about, uh, we strongly recommend that you get in touch with your independent, local independent bookshop, because they may well still be sending stuff out. Um, you can check out, the Booksellers Association has a, I think a map of indie bookshops and information about which bookshops are managing to function at the moment. And there's also a service called hive.co.uk, which um, you order your books through there but they give a percentage to a bookshop that you've chosen so even if a bookshop is not functioning at the moment because um, some just can't um, then uh, you can still kind of give them your cut of the book sale uh, straight to them so do look out that and um, I think there's there's equivalent things in America and everywhere but um, yeah hashtag save indie bookstores and hashtag choose bookshops is a good place to send some love out on Twitter to your local independent bookshop too. Okay if we just go for it we won't worry about it right? <clears throat> okay you have to spot the books many of you know them already um, but they come in fact I'll just hold them up uh, see if you can, can give them away. Oh, they or can, maybe maybe a different game. Okay. See if you can spot the lines, the first lines of Slaughterhouse Five, uh, Murphy by Samuel Beckett, Catch Twenty Two, and A Tale of Two Cities. So this is our final uh, Hard Times book recommendation list. Um, but you have to uh, type in the comments uh, which you'll hear the first line. You have to tell us which first line <laughs> is for those books. And for okay. the other ones, you can just uh, guess what who they're by, because <laughs> there's many more first lines. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three. Writing a song about first lines 
stars, it was the spring of hope, the winter of Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in again. I hope wherever you are, um, whatever situation you find yourself in, um, this has been a, a nice pause uh, for the end of the week. Um, we've got a weekend ahead of us. What are we going to do? A bit more tidying. Bit gardening, bit tidying. Gardening. Yeah. Make some sourdough. More, what else do you do? More potty training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe doing some more trips out for a... You know, testing out the potty training outside the house. Yeah, it's that's really tricky. exciting. That is tricky. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, maybe some chat chats with family. Yeah, probably happen. Yeah, uh, we have on Sunday nights we have film night, um, so that's quite cool. That's with our with the string quartet. Don't know what Saturday night holds. Maybe a more popular film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let us know what you're doing as well. It's yeah. always nice to know yeah. what you guys are up to. We've just heard that our really good friends um, have, uh, they've moved back to Wigtown, uh, so that'd be really exciting to not be able to see them for a bit. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, anyway, we'll see. Anyway, Into eating cake, we'll be eating yeah, cake. Yeah, we've still got lots. We made, it, Beth made this enormous, massive chocolate and beetroot cake, and obviously there were not loads of children here to share it with, so we're eating it, which is great. But remember, if you live in Wigtown, come, you can come and get a slice. Yeah, absolutely, if you're quick, because um, we're going to have one now. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, do pop something in the donations tip jar or buy a tea towel or whatever, or go and buy a book from your local independent bookshop. Um, all the best, lots of love from us, and see you next week. Bye. Awkward bit. I'll just carry on, I'll carry on waving okay, so it looks waving. like. Okay.